Hey guys, this story starts out with Otto the Watchdog going out to Hawk Cove, Texas to give out food to the needy without a permit. So Hawk Cove PD just rolled up. And, uh, yeah, this is the same guy that gave me a hard time for trespassing on city property the other day. Hi. There is no problem. Yeah, there is. What's that? What are you trying to accomplish today? I'm giving food away. Um, giving food away? That's right. How are you determining who gets the food? I don't. You know, we've just been through this before. Yes, we have. So why are you here? I'm here because I got calls, complaints from people in the city, neighbors, okay. citizens, about? complaining about you. What they complaining about? Your son. Okay. Why don't you just stay in Wyland? Because these people need my help. How do you know that? Because they're hungry. How do you know that? But that's not your decision. I didn't ask for a decision. What's your, said, what's your name and badge number? My name is Ward Guffey, badge number 204 with the city of Hulk And what are you doing here? I was called with a complaint by a citizen that called the chief of police, and the chief of police referred me come here okay well i i i told the we get a complaint police. we have to act on it okay so where would you like me to go where would where would be acceptable? out of the city would be wonderful how about i just go down to the city hall and do it there on public property like you told me i wasn't supposed to trespass the other day did, did you did you we had that this up? we yeah, had we had, conversation yeah. and then you yeah. had conversation with the chief and yeah. then it was all apologetic and you're sorry and yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry what that does I yelled that sign you. have to do with giving away food absolutely nothing so what's the point? I, I don't have to have a point. It's free speech. First Amendment. You didn't even have to read very far on that one. I told you to read the Constitution last time I talked to you, didn't I? Brent, I know all about the Constitution. Well, you know, obviously you don't know much. Disturbing the peace. I'm not disturbing the peace. Yes, you you're are disturbing. because you're disturbing my peace. When we get complaints from citizens about you uh -huh. and that your sign and your actions are causing a disturbance, that legally constitutes disturbing the peace. It looks pretty peaceful to me, man. I, we get a phone call. People come by. They're not going to stand here and confront you because they don't know what kind of idiot you are. Wait, wait, hey, fuck you. I'm not an idiot. I didn't say you were. Yes, I you said did. They you don't said, I don't know, know what kind you, you Okay, well, why don't you get back in your car and go away? Why don't you want to try to try something? Hmm? What do you mean try something? Try you want You telling me what I've got to do? No, I don't have. To I'm not breaking you. the law. I so said, go away. You told me to go away. What you want to? I want you to go away. Sale? I want you to leave me alone. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to at all. You're, you're now impeding my First Amendment rights. No, I'm people. not. I'm asking you what you're doing here. I'm, I'm giving away food. I told you that. I have seen no one come up here for food. How long have you been here? How long? Well, I'm going to stay here to see how long it takes you to find one person who takes the food. Okay, well, that, that truck was loaded up from the bed rail, bed rail this morning. Okay. Why do you come to Hulk Cove? Because these people need help. How do you know that? Because they told me. Who? Who is that? I'm not telling you shit. I Other than Dottie Spence, which is a fan liar, and we know that she's the one. I don't know. I don't know who that is. All right. Here we go. No, not here we go again. Just leave me alone. I'm not breaking the law. Shit. All right. I'll see you later. You are dismissed, sir. Now he's telling me I'm dismissed. You're fixing to get a citation, sir. I need your identification. A citation for what? Food. Right here. Yeah. So this is my first one. Okay. Since you've been here. All right. I'm waiting. Does that make you feel better? No. Okay, then what's your problem? I don't have a problem. It's all free. Come get whatever you need. I got sweet potatoes, carrots, and regular potatoes. You'll need a vendor's permit. For what? I'm not selling anything. Hi. You need a vendor's permit if you're giving stuff away. <laughs> okay, well, show me the show me the penal code and I'll go get that permit. I don't have to show you anything, sir. Well, you're gonna you're trying I'm to give me a citation for giving food away. No, I'm giving you a citation. For hey, you can get anything you want. Yeah, yeah we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you. you gave us some food earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. No problem. Problem. I'm giving away food. He's doing it in, a, in an illegal manner. He's on private property. He's 
disturbing. He's causing disturbance in the city. We've had multiple citizen complaints. Uh, we have about three foods. <laughs> <laughs> about those, uh, kind yeah. of, uh, those kind of signs. Thank you. It's hey, true. get another one. telling the truth. It's freedom of speech. Yeah, no, it's true. I, look. So how does, how does this Thank man... You, everybody that's going to stop me, I'm going to say the same thing. How does thing. this man know more about the law than you do, Officer Guffey? You gave me shit last time for walking down the street taking pictures. I just don't like you, man. This man... Uh, well, uh, well no, that's well, your opinion, man. Hey, you, oh, you know what? That's like your opinion, man. I don't give a shit what you like or don't See, like. See, you just told the truth on why you're really giving me a hard Because you don't like it. No, I I'm just telling you don't like his mouth. We get you're going to give me, you're, gonna, you're trying to give me a I ticket for contempt of cop. I was my Saturday until I had citizens complain about him with his, with his rude Food. Uh, right here. signs. And we get a complaint from citizens, we have to respond. I had to, I wouldn't come out here to have to say, well, what are you going to do to him? He's not stopping me if I just said it. You're not doing it, right? People can stop or don't stop. Right. Yeah. Well, if you're going to get some food, get some food. If not, you're, well, hey, you're, you're adding to the problem. He's not I'm adding, you're it. adding to the problem. I'm going to ask you to leave if Thank you're you. not here. For Thank you for coming. Thank place. you for being here. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Fuck the system. Exactly. I have, they're, they're telling me I have to pay money to get food away. Yeah, especially hot home. Right. Yeah. You know, it's a big country. You can always so, Oh, the irony of this cop saying that it's a free country. Sir, are you going to listen to them? Hey, you can call him and tell him to go away. I don't take orders from... You do take citizens. orders. Unless there's being a crime committed, I don't have to listen to you. No, no. So you don't... Who do you work for? I work for the city of Hulk Cove. Okay, well... And I would answer to the chief police. Free food, anything you want. Come get it. Take all you want if you want it. I go by auto, please, if you don't mind. Okay, auto. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, we do have a complainant that's willing to sign a statement against you. Okay. Um, for the language on the sign. Oh, well, that's that's not um, even a crime, is it? And um, if I have a complainant, it's considered disorderly conduct. I call the judge to really? verify. Really? So all we have to have is someone complain, and it's disorderly conduct. Well, I'm going to complain about her conduct. Just come here in the first place. It's a cause for the sign. Um, I, I do have a phone number for the property owner. I have not contacted them. I know that you don't know the property owner because this property just changed hands. And I know that you don't have permission to be here. Um, well, that's, that's if, like, listen you, to don't, me. you don't know listen that. To me. I, I do know that. You don't. Because you don't even know. You're assuming. Me. And um, I, I, I would like for you to not use the foul language on the sign because if not, I have a complaint that's going to sign a statement against you and you will be arrested for this so on this day, he was not arrested for disorderly conduct. He put the sign up, but he was cited for solicitation without a permit. The language on the sign. The language on the sign is disorderly. Well, no, it's offensive. So now anything that's offensive is also illegal. Welcome to the land of the free. I'm willing to sign a statement, and I'm just doing under the judge's directive. That's what he instructed me to do. So I'm asking you to not use the sign. So guys, I decided to call Hawk Cove and find out what I need to do to get a permit to get people free food. Hawk Cove City Hall, everyone speaking. I'm sorry, who's speaking? Evelyn. Evelyn, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Hey, um, I was wondering, uh, do you guys have... Any city ordinances or anything that um, require me to get a permit um, uh, to, uh, we've got a church group that's going to come out there, um, that was planning to come out there and, and uh, feed some uh, poor folks. Am I required to get a permit from you guys to do that? Uh, I am not sure. I do know we have a... Uh we do have permits for soliciting, and um, I am not sure what category that would be under. Okay. I would have to check and find out. Okay. Okay. What would solicit? Can I have a number and I'm... 
What would soliciting be? Well, that's if you're going door to door. Okay. And if you're going door to door to give out that food, that would be. Okay, if you're going door to door to hand out food or to pick it up? Either are. Okay, so going door to door to hand out food would require permission from the city? Yes. Okay, and... Um, because a lot of people don't want to be bothered. Okay. Um, does it, uh, so it requires a permit to go door to door for any purpose then, is that what you mean? Correct, because you never know who you're, who you're, who's coming to your door, you know, what kind of people are coming. So you kind of need, uh, some information about them. We get driver's license, we get, uh, information about the company that's going around, you know, uh, so... That's the reason we get permits, so we can check you out. Okay. Is anybody denied permits then, or? Well, we haven't had very many people that come. Uh, we had, like, the the people that sell the meat okay. uh, come, and uh, the ice cream vendor, that's just about all. Okay. And their their permits were uh, were granted? Yes. Is there a certain criteria for the permit to be granted? Well, you just have to pass it. I mean, whatever it is there that they want you to do, you know. Um. Okay. Is that uh, what would what would it be that they want me to do to uh, acquire a permit? You know, you got to show your driver's license. We've got to check you out. But we got to make sure the food that you're giving out is not bad food not going to harm anybody. Okay, so you call in yeah, uh, so. the FDA or something to check out the food? No, I assume we would have to look at it ourselves. I'm not sure. Okay. And, uh, I mean, I'm some... not the expert on this. I'm the only one. I'm the one that gives you the permit, but I'm not the one that checks you out. Okay. Uh, who checks Who checks you out then? That would be Officer Ward Guffey. Officer... Ward Duffy? Guffy. Okay, Ward Guffy. G- Can you spell that for me? G-U-F-F-E-Y. F-F-E-Y. And he, mm-hmm. is that a he or a she? It's a he. Okay, and uh, Officer Ward Guffy then would uh, would check out the food and, and uh, he's qualified to know um, what's good or not good? Well, he would... He would know if it's spoiled or whatever. Okay. I'm uh, sure. Um, I ask who I'm talking to. Uh, it's just a, a a volunteer group that does some things for uh, communities around the area. Um, but so Officer Guffey would know if the food is spoiled or not, and um, and the individuals who are giving it out or and or receiving it wouldn't necessarily know that, right? Well, some people can't smell. Some people can't, you know, can't see. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you've yeah. got, you got to protect your people, yourself. Yeah, 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 okay. So since some people can't smell or see, Officer Guffey has got a superb nose and uh, superb eyes then, right? So. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. Well, I'm just wondering where, um, I mean, obviously we, we have these. Are, are you this freedom guy, Autumn, Autumn Free, Freeman? Am I a what a? Are you this Autumn Freeman? No. No, this is James. James what? Uh, I didn't give my last name. I'm just with a uh, volunteer group that... Uh, What's the volunteer group, sir? Um, well, we'll let you know um, when we find out if our if our uh, permit is granted or denied. Um, now, how, how much does the permit cost? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Because I don't have one handy. Okay, I'll wait. Hi, this is Trisha. Um, I'm, I don't know who I'm talking for anything, but Miss Evelyn is doing with the customer, and she asked me to grab the phone for her. Oh, okay. How you doing, Trisha? I'm good. How about you? Oh, doing pretty good. Uh, I'm so glad to hear that. Um, she said you were asking about the, the solicitation permit. Yes, yeah. How much does that cost? Okay, it's $35 every year. $35 a year. 
And um, basically, that's to either sell or even give away anything in... Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so I can't give anything to any of my neighbors in Hot Cove without paying Hot Cove $35 for the permit to do so. If you're trying to go door-to-door to multiple people, yes. What if I were to... What if I were to just sit on the side of the road? You would have to get a permit fee for that. Okay. To or a s- permit for that. Okay, to either, to either give away or sell something. Yes, sir. And there's no, there's no, like, certain amount of people. Like, I can't even give one person an apple. I can't sit on the side of the road and give one person an apple without getting the permit from Hot Cove. No, sir. Sir, how you doing? You giving out any citations today? You giving out, no, you're not busy. You giving out citations? Hey, can I give you some free food? Can I give you some free food? You want an orange? Here, I got an orange for you. You take an orange? Watch this. I'm going to give it to somebody. Look at that. I gave him food. I don't have a permit. I don't have a permit. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, buddy? Nothing? That's what I thought. Can't do that. Okay. Um, And uh, where do I get the permit from? And where's Hot Cove City Hall at? Can I get the address? Lo- yes. It's 1585 Maria Street. And then Hawk Cove, H-A-W-K-C-O-V like Victor E. And the zip code is 75474. 75, sorry I missed that, 75. Oh, you're good. 75474. 474. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take you with me while I grab some more coffee real quick. Oh, absolutely. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Evelyn was telling me that Officer Ward Guffey is the one who issues permits. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. He's our, He's pretty much the catch-all for anything to do with ordinances, um, everything. Okay. Can you direct me to the ordinance on the uh, solicitation uh, permit? Got it in our permit list. You know, you could even um, just get it for me when I come out there, because I'll I'll come out uh, okay, to no uh, I'll come out to see what the uh, process is like. Um, so, you think it would be easily accessible, so it might be ready when I get out there? Um. Yeah. When will you be out here? Um, I'd say probably sometime this afternoon. Okay, yeah, that's no problem. I actually have it in my hand. It's uh Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called the it's the permit fee list. It's ordinance one hundred dash eleven. One hundred dash eleven. Yes, sir. Do you think I'd be able to find that online? No. Okay. I figured not, that's why I asked actually, you. <laughs> We are actually so excited because starting January 7th, instead of being open only Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which is silly, we're going to be open Monday through Thursday. All right, guys. We're out here at Hot Cove Police Department. There's the chief of police. Apparently, a system that's obsolete. How do I get a hold of Judge Barnett? Um, I don't know if he has an office around here anymore. Um, I know he judges in uh, West Wapani and Quinlan. And so, this is the only number I have to contact. I got a ticket Uh for rolling a stop sign down here. Yes, sir. And this is the only number it's got for Judge Barnett. Okay. Yeah, what all they all they were supposed to write the new judge's name on there, Judge Barnett's not not even with our court, it hasn't been for some time. We just had old citations and so they just left that on there. <laughs> so who do I talk to? Judge Peters and Gringle said I need to talk to That actually makes the ticket completely null and void. 
Well, yeah. That's between y'all and the judge. I don't know. Well, it's actually, you're the chief of police out here, right? Yeah. Running the, uh, what's that? Who are you? I'm with news media. News media. What news media? Um, Ill or irrelevant at this point. Oh, okay. Um, Good day, then. Yeah, hey, so um, can I ask you a question? No, you cannot. No, I can't? Well, I'm going to ask you a damn question anyways. How about that? Yes, sir. You go ahead. All right. Is it okay if I give you this orange? Give can me I, a what? Can I give you an orange? No. Do I need a permit to give you an orange? Do I need a permit? Hey, Chief, you got two options. You can either talk to the people or more people are going to come to get answers. Do you understand? Give us answers or more people will come to get answers, all right? Why can't you just give us some answers? The people want some answers. Chief. Generally, when I um, speak to people, they are respectful of making an appointment with me as opposed to showing up and settling. Well, it doesn't look like you're busy. You're just shutting down the whole damn place. Um, I'd say probably sometime this afternoon. Are you so special okay, yeah, that the people no can't talk to you without making a special appointment? What the hell makes you think you're so special, ma'am? What is it that makes you think you're so special? Sir, how you doing? You giving out any citations today? You giving out? You're not, no, you're not busy. You giving out citations? Hey, can I give you some free food? Can I give you some free food? You want an orange? Here, I got an orange for you. You take an orange. Watch this. I'm gonna give it to somebody. Look at that. I gave him food. I don't have a permit. I don't have a permit. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, buddy? Nothing? That's what I thought. We came out to be respectful. You guys don't want to talk? You don't want to give us answers? You don't want to be respectful? You want to be stupid? We could be stupid too. Yeah, expect us. We'll be back. Hi, how are you doing today? Wonderful.